Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of a Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting problem. We're giving a function uh, in terms of uh, polynomial x to the 4, so on and so forth. We're giving two clues, tangent line x at x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. We're asked to find a, b, c, and d. Okay, so it's a pretty involved problem, but it's not hard. The trick is to keep track of what we're doing. Okay, let's get started. Let's find y prime, which is equal to f prime of x. Okay, that's an easy one. 4x cubed plus 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. Okay, so f of prime of 0, then I have this 0, this 0, everything is 0, so I have a c. Okay, and then f prime of 1, I have 4 plus 3a plus 2b. Uh, plus c. Okay, so I just substituted 1 in there, so I have 4 plus 3a plus 2b plus c. Okay, we're going to be using this one later on. Now, on the other hand, let's draw a line over here. Okay, uh, tangent at 0 of the x, we have the form of 2x plus 1, which means the slope is equal to 2, m equal to 2. Okay, that's one data point. Also, now this is the important part, this is where the trick of the problem is. When you substitute it in there at 0, you got a point. Okay, so t tangent to line, when x equal to 0, I have 1. Okay, so the point 1, uh, 0, and 1 is also um, the y equal to f of x. Okay, this is important. We're going to be using this one later on. Let's do the similar thing over here. Tangent to 1 when of x that we're given is minus 3x plus 2. Let's find exactly the same thing. Tangent of 1 when x equal to 1, then I have minus 3 times 1 plus 2 equal to minus 1. So 1 and minus 1 is also um, f of x. This is important. Later on, we're going to be using this one. Okay, now let's go back over there. f of 0 equal to c, which is the slope. So c is equal to 2. That's a pretty easy one to find. Okay, Once you have a c equal to 2, uh, let's go back and find a d, because f of 0 is equal to d. And we know that 0, 1, 0, 1 is also... Um, f of x. Okay, so using those two combinations, you see that d is equal to 1. Okay, d equal to 1. So here we have a, a b, c, d. Um, maybe let's go back on top here. Let's write it out. a, little a, equal to b equal to c equal to and d equal to. D equal to 1, C equal to 2. So far, so good. Okay. Now let's go on this side and see what happens over here. The slope over here okay, is equal to minus 3. So that's my first equation. Let's write it out. 4 plus 3A plus 2B plus C is equal to minus 3. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. So since I know C is really a 2, so I have a 3A plus 2B is equal to minus 3. Let's do a minus 6 over here. So I have a 3a plus 2b equal to minus 9. Okay, that's my first equation. i got to find another equation to solve for a and b because I already have c and d. Now this is where it comes in play. Okay, We know function of, um, function of y has the point 1 and minus 1 on there. So if we substitute 1 in there, okay, f of 1 is equal to minus 1. Okay. This is gotten, we got this from the tangent line. Got it from the tangent line at x equal to 1. Okay. This is the important part of this problem. So if f of 1 equal to minus 1, let's write it out. Minus 1, then therefore equal to 1 plus a plus b plus c, c we already know it's a 2, because this is a c, plus d, d we know it's 1. Okay. 
equation. So now we have another equation over here. I have uh, uh, A and B, and so I have four, let's make sure, A plus B, and then therefore equal to, this is three, four, minus four is minus five. Here's my second equation. Okay. Now having gotten the two equations to our nose, it's pretty easy from there onward. So we can just so simply solve. Let's carve a little room over here. So I have two equations. I have a plus b equal to minus five. Okay. And then I have three a plus two b is equal to minus nine. Let's multiply this one by two. I have two a plus two b is equal to ten. Okay. Subtract them, I have a is equal to, um, let's, let's make sure I have it right. So 3a uh, plus b is minus 5, so I have uh, minus 5 here. Okay, And then let's multiply by 2. So I have a is equal to, let's see, uh, minus 19. Let's see if it's correct. Okay, 2a plus 2b equal to minus 10. Oh, this is minus 10. So subtracting them, I have a. This is plus 1. So let's make sure here. Okay. Uh, a minus a plus b equal to minus 5. 3a plus 2b equals minus 9. So times 2, 2a two plus 2b equals minus 10. Let's subtract this one. So I have a this minus this, it's a equal to plus one. Okay. If a equal to plus one, then b is equal to uh, minus six. Okay, so b is equal to minus six, so let's write it on top over here. a equal to one, and then we have b equal to minus six. Okay, let's double make sure we got everything. So a plus b equal to minus five, a plus b equal to minus 5, 3a plus this one, and so minus this one, I have a minus 6, so 3a, 3b. Okay, I think we got it right. Okay, hope this helps, and have a confident day.